what peace feels like. Early morning mist rising up off the lake, exhaling a pent up breath, the tick tocking of chaos. Time stands still. All my senses come to life in awe of nature's perfect harmony. Tranquility settles around me. Dark skies with dark days will beckon. Emotions not of my making. And I will remember these five minutes of bliss. This is what peace feels like to me. to self, starting over, going at it again, try to be different, you never know what you might gain, staying still, not moving with momentum, outcomes are stagnant, never reaching full potential. Dream big, gather all your energy, pride yourself on your passions, you'll be great, you'll be legendary. Time stopped by and was gone in an instant, leaving behind the cruelty of a lost memory. Gullible or desperate to believe, love never forgets. The sad realisation, I can't remember the sound of your voice anymore. I would do anything for one last time to hear you, not faded whisperings. In my darkened dreams, I beg you, talk to me. Bring your voice back to life. When time stops by, and is gone in an instant. Genesis, womb, woman, Genesis, source and cradle, emergence and rise of ancestral lineage, nurtured, fostered, reared tenderly and with fierce love, place of sanctuary and refuge, place of safety and protection, at times totally secluded, withdrawn and protecting in its isolation. At our very core, the origin of our adaptability, our aptitude for survival, origin of every brilliant, vibrant, creative bone that exists in our humanity. Every one of us has been held thus within the womb, just as every one of us is held by Mother Earth. Together we stand strong, particularly when we face a common foe. And now, just as we feel that we have this earth under our spell, it comes, raging through the world, this nanoscopic plague. And so the rusty bar rises, taking with it all my pain and misfortune. You came into my life accidentally because I thought I was healed when I was merely taped together. You pulled the tape off and let me fall apart, exposing all of the rotten seeds in my fruit. You didn't look away. You didn't run from me. You took my hands and held me, watered the seeds, and then they grew. And for that, I am forever grateful, forever grateful for you. Rustling leaves on a forest floor and the warm haze glow of a sunset, music notes like raindrops on a pond and the glistening of the dew in, on fresh green grass in spring and remember the rainbow and where it began, the clip-clop of a horse on a country lane, the dizzy dancing of a butterfly over mustard fields, big fluffy clouds changed by the wind and long grass swaying goodbye, the tossing waves of the sea and smell of salty air, Shells like gems decorating the beach floor. The night sky, stars like diamonds, 
and the wise moon smiling. Buds bursting open, child's laughter on a swing, snow resting softly on my windowsill, bird song echoing at the end of day, bidding farewell. Dancing rabbits where dandelions grow, a new day is dawning over heather hills. Masterpiece. Blackberries dangle from the bramble. Rich and abundant through the hedgerow it scrambles. Enticed to taste its juicy fruit, but soon my tongue is turning puce, and indigo stained fingertips prove very difficult to shift. answered questions to someone I met. If I wrote you a poem, would you think I was sad? If I said I could love you, would you think I'd gone mad? If I tried to get close and become your best friend, would you fight or reject me and want it to end? Will I ever be in with a chance to succeed? Could I ever get intimate or satisfy need? If I wasn't around, would you miss me at all? If you knew I was waiting, would you give me a call? Am I wasting my time with poor rhyme and verse? Are these words I'm writing just making things worse? Many questions come into my head from my heart. Please think of some answers while we're apart. I know I could tell you how I really feel, but I fear that you'd laugh and think me unreal. Santa, I really want Harry Redknapp. Don't put him in a jungle trap. Let him go free, then he can come over to play with me. When he comes, I will shout you pee. I will be so happy, unless he wears a nappy. If you can't get him to me, you will have to pay a fee. A bat flew in my window. A bat flew in my window and he stole my iPhone. As he was flying out the door, he hit my funny bone. He flew into the kitchen, knocking all the food. Then he ate my favorite treat, which put me in a bad mood. Then I started to shout at him. He gave me back my phone. He said he's really sorry and he's never been alone. I forgave him for what he did and for hitting my funny bone. He said he'd see me tomorrow and then I started to groan. Hedgerow prospecting. We scour the scrub on four legs and two, a white thorn crown bejeweled with red haw rubies. A tangle of branches and rabbit holes on a warm October breeze, the heady scent of prey tingles nostrils. We inch along the ditch, a stick snaps, sudden scatter, terriers yelp, delirious and miss a white tail bounding across the field. But the quarry is not lost. These words, the spoils of our hedgerow prospecting. Side sadness. The room had been cleaned. There were flowers and new beech towels. The coconut trees were throwing a gentle shade in the afternoon breeze, but my mood refused to be lifted. The perfection of the weather, the beachside barbecue, our misery, the smell of tears, the sense of sun cream, a picture of a beautiful land. <laughs> 